In this session, let's try to understand the concept of randomness and entropy. The movement of molecules is known as randomness. See this picture, how quiet the students are sitting on their bench and they are not moving at all. This is exactly the situation when there is a strict teacher in your class. Look at the second picture. This is the exact situation which is seen during the recess time. Students are moving here and there in a classroom. Now you will come to know what is randomness. In the first image, the students are not moving. That means they are just sitting on their position. Thus, their randomness is zero. But in the second figure, the students are moving here and there during the recess time. This means their randomness is more. Now, the same thing happens in solids, liquids and gases too. Solids show less movement of molecules, liquids have more movement of molecules and gases shows the maximum movement of molecules. So, this movement of molecules is known as randomness. Thus, we can say that solids have less randomness, liquids have more randomness compared to solids and gases have maximum randomness. Entropy it is the measurement of randomness of the system or we can say that it is the measurement of disorder of the system. Look at the diagram here. As you see in the diagram, it is simple. It is just a measurement of how much randomly the molecules are moving in a system. So, in solids the molecules are properly arranged which means it has less randomness. So, the entropy of solids is least. In gases, the molecules move very fast throughout the container. It has more randomness which means it has more entropy. The entropy of liquids lies in between the solids and liquids.